Hi Airsofters, my name is Alex and this is going to be my first YouTube video and I'm going to be talking about my SEMA M14 EBR AEG. Um, I've been interested in purchasing this gun for about a decade now. Um, I first saw it online when I was a kid and now I have adult money and adult time to pursue a hobby like this. So I invested in this thing for almost $300 and I'm very satisfied. Um, when I first saw the reviews for this thing 10 years ago, they were kind of meh, but I think uh, production quality on this gun has gone up over time. And I decided to get the EBR uh, telescoping stock version as opposed to the crane stock version, uh, which makes this gun a little front heavy because the battery is wired to the front. It comes with a mock pack unit to uh, house the battery. Um, yeah, so all the weight in, in this gun is in the front, and it's very heavy. It weighs uh, about 10, 10 to 12 pounds with everything on it like you see here. Um, I do plan on doing some weight reduction on this gun. The flash hider and the mock gas tube on the front of the rifle are removable, and I will be making a video on how to remove both of those. The mock charging handle is also removable, and I will be removing that as well. I know I'm really going to be bastardizing this M14 EBR, uh, but I think it's going to look awesome. I've already taken it apart and uh, put a couple different configurations on it, and I'm really happy with uh, where I'm going to be going with this thing. And I'm going to be building it to be a semi-auto DMR um, at about 500 FPS, because that is what is allowed at my fields here in Oregon. Okay, so let's get a closer view of this thing. The uh, telescoping stock is adjustable, um, it has five adjustments. I leave it on the third one because that's what's most comfortable uh, for me right now with this long uh, telescopic sight on it. It does have iron sights, which are adjustable. The rear sights are adjustable left and right and up and down quite a bit. I can't really do it with the uh, scope on here. Uh, the scope rings that came with this thing were just barely tall enough to fit. I am getting taller scope rings at some point. Charging handle. Very satisfying and fun to use. Adds a lot of weight though, so that's got to go. I know, it's a sad day, but I think it's going to be worth it. Uh, the pistol grip's plastic and it's hollow. It's held in there with one really long Allen bolt. I'll show you guys that in another video. Uh, hop up is inside the magwell and it is adjustable when there is a magazine in there. You just kind of have to have some nimble fingers to get to it. It's the trigger mechanism. Safety's on and it locks the trigger. I really like that. This is safety off. Semi auto. Full auto. Again, I'm going to be leaving it semi only. Probably never going to use this thing full auto ever again, except to make a couple of videos for you guys, which will be coming soon, so stay tuned for those. Um, I got an ASG2 Magpul foregrip, which makes holding this thing <laughs> much nicer. I really only use this bipod for sighting in the scope and uh, ranging in my backyard. I'm just shooting at cardboard targets and tin targets. I will make a video on how to remove both of these. They have set screws on the bottom that you can unscrew on the flash hider and the gas tube. I'll make a detail, detailed video about that. Um, once I remove those and remove the charging handle, that opens up a lot of space under these rails. And I'm actually going to be sticking the battery all the way in there. All the wires are going to be hidden. Battery's going to be completely hidden. It's going to give this thing a nice low profile and really help balance out the weight from the front more to the middle and the back, which I'm really excited for. Um, the first time I took this gun apart, I needed a guide because I didn't realize that the trigger guard comes apart. Um, all you have to do is pull that out, unscrew a couple bolts here, take this top rail off, and then the whole top assembly comes out of the lower assembly. It's really cool once you realize how easy it is to take this thing apart. Thanks to Mr. Pew Pew 19's guide on Reddit. Uh, I'll be making a video of how to disassemble this too. Just for fun. 
out of the box this thing gets 375 FPS uh, advertised was 400 but I'm not mad because the 375 FPS is pretty consistent okay there isn't much else to share about this thing but I will be making some more videos so I hope you guys stay tuned for those like comment and subscribe if you have any questions about this gun I would love to answer them please leave them down below in the comments and I will reply to you in a timely manner all right thanks guys I hope to see you in the next one